hello you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am bailey and also happy new year happy 2024 it's the new year and i'm so excited because any opportunity that i have to give myself like a fresh start or like to rebrand i take that opportunity at the end of the day it's just like any other day and it's just like the start of a new year like it's seriously not that deep but if you can trick yourself into thinking it's deep then you can create some like actual like monumental changes for yourself at least that's what i believe and that's what i try to do so in today's video i thought the perfect Perfect first video of 2024 for me would be to do kind of like a prep for 2024 a life reset getting my shit together figuring out what I want this year to look like we're gonna do some things on the organizational side of my life which is like cleaning my room decluttering just like getting my space good and happy and healthy and then we're also gonna do some things on like the planning prepping manifestation side of things for this year you guys can clearly see I still have my Christmas decorations up and although I love them and I love when I do my my room like this every year it gets really old really fast and I want my like normal decor back in here and although some people keep their Christmas decorations up like all of January it's just not for me because a new year means like a new change and if my room is still decorative for Christmas it still feels like it's December and that's last year and we're in a new year so let's get let's get that done first A little bit of a break from you know putting my room back to normal and cleaning things up because I need to upload a podcast this podcast is a 2023 tell-all recapping my entire year and spilling the damn tea that's the title of it I basically just like went over the entire year and talked about like the best things and like stories that I haven't told and like things that may get me in trouble so um, if you're interested things could be worse is my podcast that's the name but I've been working on this for like 20 minutes and then I'm going to continue working on my room and then I think me and my brother are going to Best Buy because he is like looking to get a new laptop or something I think and then I also want to stop at like an office max there's something that I want to make during this video that is part of like the prepping and planning for 2024 so I'm gonna do that as well and I think that this video is going to spill into tomorrow a little bit just because I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish everything today but yeah I'm gonna get this podcast up and then I'll be back I don't really know what to do with all this stuff like I hate to be this bitch and I hate to like say this in a way that might seem like I'm like oh my god I have so many things I don't have room for my stuff but I genuinely don't have room like I live in my parents house I have one room actually I have two rooms to myself I have two bathrooms I have two closets I should have enough room actually it's a me problem it's not a house problem I just have too much and like I appreciate and I love all of the Christmas gifts that I got but I just don't know where to Put anything. My boyfriend got me this super cool globe and I'm thinking about putting it up here. Oh my gosh, it actually is gonna look so good. Oh god. <laughs> I'll work on that. I don't know if I like the positioning of it all. New hoodie, new slippers. This is a new camera. Got a bunch of gift cards from my dad for Christmas, which is always so nice because I spend way too much money on eating out. So he always comes through with the good gift cards during Christmas. Pajamas, garbage. I love that I just like throw everything. I probably shouldn't throw this. This is literally how I like clean my room. Like when I have like stuff like this, like this type of situation or like laundry, I'll just throw it in the general direction that it belongs. Ooh, Sephora gift cards, slay. Now this is glass, so I'm gonna gently slide it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna deal with this and then come back because I'm just a little stressed out right now. Okay, it's kind of a little bit better. There's still a bunch of shit over there, but the next thing that I wanna do is get rid of this rug. I usually have an orange rug here and for Christmas, I put a white rug. And then same with my curtains. I have white curtains up right now, but I normally have orange ones up. But the issue is I wanna wash the curtains in the rug, just like, I don't know, it's like dusty, gross, I wanna wash. So I think I'm gonna put them in the washer before I go to Best and stuff but I'm gonna take these down right now and like put them away just so that it's out of the way no I was trying to prevent that from happening 
All right, things are looking a lot better. I'm gonna move over to my vanity. I love that you guys can just see me there in the mirror. This isn't too bad, but I just kind of want to clean off this stuff that's sitting on top of it. And then also I want to clean off the top of it. I'm literally like out of this stuff. Finally have the dead flowers in the bathroom and I'm going to get rid of them But the reason I've kind of been putting this off so long is because I like to save the petals This sounds so dramatic, but this is my second box of flower petals. There's just some white ones in here I don't remember what these were from but yeah I'm just gonna like break off the whole thing and put it in the box for now this might confuse you a lot, but just know that there is a purpose for it. And it's kind of hard to explain, but someday I might explain. <laughs> oh my gosh, flowers are falling everywhere. These are so dead. Flowers should not sound like that. Ow, well, I just got pricked. I'm gonna have to vacuum my counter. All right, here's my little box of dead flowers. Okay, for some reason my room looks like a jail cell right now, like this angle and the lighting and everything. But the last thing I'm gonna do on camera as far as my room goes is take off the wrapping paper on these picture frames. All right, so it's 418. I just actually uploaded my podcast. So now I'm done with like work for the day besides starting to edit this video later. My mom just texted me and my brother and asked if we wanted to go get Mexican with her tonight, but I am like not in the mood for Mexican at all. I don't know what it is about me. Like I go in such hard phases when it comes to like Mexican food. So I'm really just not in the mood. I've been craving noodles and company though for three days and I proposed that idea. So I think we're gonna meet my mom at noodles to get some dinner. Hello guys. I am home now. It's actually been a long time. I think it's like 8.30, 8.43. It's 8.43. So I've been home for a while. We stopped at Best Buy. We went to Noodles and met my mom. And then we went to Walmart so that I could pick up a few things that I need for the second part of this video. And although the first part of this video isn't technically done, like the cleaning and organizing and just like making my room, like putting it back to normal part isn't done. My curtains and rug are still in the dryer. They're definitely dry now, but I haven't brought them upstairs. And then I also want to vacuum. I've to put new clothes on my clothing rack i i don't know there's a few things that need to be done but i think i'm gonna put that off until tomorrow just because i don't feel like cleaning any more than i have already today so i'm gonna introduce phase two of this video which is the planning and prepping for the new year and this is such a cool idea and i'm not gonna take credit for it i've actually only seen this idea one time and i saw it today believe it or not i wasn't planning on doing this originally i knew i was gonna film this video and for like the planning and prepping i was just gonna be like during Journaling. I was gonna make a vision board like I made last year and just kind of do like some manifesting and just like some hopes and dreams and like all of that But a YouTube video popped up in my subscription feed today And I have not watched um, a YouTube video from this creator in a really long time Honestly, I don't really watch YouTube videos like I used to and the youtuber I'm talking about is Fernanda Ramirez and if you guys don't watch her videos you need to she is like the ultimate like in my head when I think about her She's literally just like the ultimate it girl. She has all of the best like tips and tricks for just like creating your dream life and just being happy and being like a good well-rounded like productive person but that video is basically just an in-depth tutorial on how to make a vision binder instead of just a vision board and I thought it was such a genius idea so I'm going to be recreating that in my own way today I think this is such a cute idea I'll talk more about it tomorrow and show you guys like what I'm actually going to like be putting on my pages and stuff like that and if you want to make this yourself I would recommend going to Fernanda's video because she definitely is gonna explain it so much better than I will and I don't even want to try to because it's like that was her her thing that she came up with I don't know if she came up with it but she just showed it in a beautiful and super descriptive way so I'm gonna recreate it and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing and like what I'm including in my binder but it's not gonna be like a full-on tutorial if that makes sense so basically I just wanted to start this off with a little haul first of all I got a binder because I needed one and then I got these sheet protectors they're basically just like little plastic film sheets to like put the papers in between so you can like keep your pages nice and crisp and then I also got these just because I thought it was cute and I definitely will be able to use like all of this within the binder it's just like little sticky notes and sticky tabs and little like note things and then I have this three hole hole puncher because I don't have one and I'm gonna need one and then I got two new pens because I am in need of some good pens and then the last thing I got was a new pack of little retractable highlighters because I'm also gonna need these 
for like the whole journal thing. My current highlighters are starting to all dry out. Yeah, okay, I like these. All right, that's everything that I got, and I will see you guys back tomorrow after I hopefully have finished planning out all of my pages. Hey guys, it's actually been two days since I spoke to you last. I know I said I would be back tomorrow and I'll explain why I couldn't be back yesterday. That makes no sense. I'll explain why this got pushed back in a second, but I quickly want to give you the overview of my room because I finally finished cleaning it and putting everything back in its place. I know I said I was gonna wait to do like my curtains and my rug and even like my clothing rack with you, but I figured it's not that deep and I could not stand how bare my room looked last night. So I just like put it all up. But yeah, here is the room. Overall, it looks very clean and I love that it's back to normal. I just, I don't know, it feels so much more cozy in here. All of my Christmas decoration is very like bright white and red and it's just like a lot. It kind of feels like I'm in a hospital sometimes, especially if I have my big light on instead of just like my lamp lighting, which is usually what I have on if I'm not like filming. Here is this area. I have a return to make or an exchange to make and then I don't know what to do with that basket. Cute. My clothing rack just has some like brown tones on it. My curtains my bed is made. This still looks a little horrible, but she's better. <laughs> now that we've kind of completed phase one, which is like my room side of things, and you guys have seen the overview of my room, it is time to talk about this freaking binder that I made. I'm gonna tell you how I made it, basically like my intention behind it, everything like that. So as a quick overview, here is what the cover of it looks like. This is just a piece of paper that I printed out and slipped in the front pocket of the binder. So it's just super cute. It's a bunch of pictures of things that I'm hoping to see next year or do next year or achieve next year. And every single page in this binder I made using Canva, which is basically just like a super beginner friendly graphic design website thing. I actually started off using it in a bunch of my classes at school. And then I really liked how easy it was to use and like how many different things you can do on there that I brought it into like work as well. So basically I just found pictures on Pinterest and then downloaded them and put them into Canva and kind of arrange them in whatever way, you know, looked good for each page. So here's the cover. Moving inside, we have page number one. There's five main categories that I broke up the binder into and each category has its own vision board. So it's not just like the whole vision board of like everything that I want this year, but then we get more specific for each category. So this is the mentality one and underneath mentality, I don't even it says mentality and then underneath it, I wrote a little quote and it says everything I want wants me back so that's just something that really emulates like the mentality that I want to have this year here's what it looks like and here is all the pictures I'm not gonna like dive into each and every single picture because there is like a ton throughout here so that's what I have for mentality and then on the back of that page I actually made a page dedicated to some of my favorite affirmations that I could find it says affirmations at the top and then there is just a whole bunch of affirmations that I can read to myself and remind myself on the next page, I have this how to hack your happiness chemical. I saw Fernanda put something like this in hers and then I didn't like copy hers exactly at all. She like had something completely different, but I went on Pinterest and I found some other things and basically I wrote like four of like the happiness chemicals, serotonin, endorphins, oxytocin, dopamine, and put what that chemical does to your brain and how you can increase that. So if you're feeling sad or whatever, you can do like certain steps for whatever. This is what this this page looks like. Moving on, we have another page of things to do when you're kind of feeling down. I got really bored and I just made this page. I don't know, I just thought it would be fun, okay? And then here's the next page. It is basically just like a cloud and it says future me in it. And then there's a bunch of lines drawn to different things that future me is. So for instance, I have loves her life and the people in it, lives in a cute apartment, has friends that feel like family, energetic, healthy, started her own brand, is a good cook, likes reading, 
grateful travels the world like there's so many different um, things in here and then we have the lifestyle vision board page so again I wrote lifestyle at the top and then I put a little quote under it this quote is I'm creating my dream life and again a bunch of cute pictures on the back of that page I have this lifestyle goals page so I basically I basically just wrote a bunch of my lifestyle goals down. You know, it's pretty, it's like pretty self-explanatory. And then this next page is pretty blank. You might be wondering what's going on with this. Basically, I wrote books to read in 2024 and then I put some pictures of books that I wanna read. But I'm actually going to take this sheet out and handwrite book ideas just because I feel like if I were to type them out, it would eventually become very stupid that I type them out because I feel like you're always hearing of like new book recommendations and stuff like that. So I just figured I would write them because if I get recommended a book, then I can just like add it to the list. And then we have the career vision board. Here is what this page looks like. The quote I put is, this is just the beginning. And then on the back of that page, I have my career goals. And I don't really want to show you these just because, I don't know, they're like personal, not like personal, but it's like what I hope for this year. And some of it is like a secret and I don't know what's going to happen, but I want it to. And that's why I put it in here. So I'll just show you the top part of that page. Next page is the physical physical self page vision board page and I wrote be stronger than your excuse here is the physical goals page cook at home more often be consistent in the gym start doing yoga daily drink 80 ounces of water a day get by monthly facials start getting massages drink tea daily prioritize self-care become a better runner and vitamins and supplements and then I thought it would be cute to do like a whole self-care page so I put some cute pictures at the top and then I have skin hair eyes and teeth and basically just like different you know steps for taking care of each of those places places each of those parts of yourself and then the other page is the same but I just have body care because it didn't fit on the other side and then we have the spirituality page super cute super cute super cute it says I am overflowing with energy and joy and all the pictures and then on the back I have my spirituality goals I don't really feel like reading it so you guys can just like pause and read them if you're interested but yeah that is all that I have so far in my binder I think all of the pages turned out super freaking cute and i'm so excited to continue to make more and add to it all year like i don't know if i'm gonna do monthly goals yet or i think i might i think i might do like break it up like for because i have like my big career goals for the entire year but i think i want to like break it up monthly and you know do like a page for each month in different categories and you know really just like put my all into this basically track my whole life and plan out my whole life because i just love having like a tangible thing to to like hold on to and look at and like track progress and just you know make plans like it makes it so much more exciting to just be able to like flip through here and be like this is gonna be my life because like there's no other option basically so yeah super cool there's my idea thank you so much to fernanda for posting her video because i probably wouldn't have seen this otherwise i think it's a super great idea i'll quickly show you guys my vision board from last year because it's also kind of a cool idea this is my vision board from last year and you're probably like girl that's a that's a notebook but this was my 2023 journal and on the front cover I put my vision board here is what she looked like last year and I honestly love this and I keep this forever just because it's it's so cool like I have the Eiffel Tower I went to Paris we have like some beautiful like coastal town it looks like somewhere in Italy went to Italy saw a beautiful coastal town beaches hanging out with friends relationship stuff working out like this was all it all happened graduation concerts like I I really did that so I like this idea because if you're like a daily journaler or you want to become a daily journaler If you put it in your journal and you're looking at your journal every single day to journal You flip this open and the first thing you see is like your hopes and your dreams and your aspirations Like what you want your life to look like and then you can like dive into your journaling Anyways, I feel like this video was very long and um, you guys are probably like damn stop talking so i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching i am so excited for 2024 and i hope you guys are too i hope you guys achieve everything that you want this year and overall are just like very happy but yeah i'll see you guys next sunday Bye bye